Hi guys, welcome to the unboxing and quick review of this Bluetooth FM transmitter Sumind wireless radio adapter hands-free kit uh, car kit with 1.7 inch display that's huge and quick car 3.0 and smart 2.4 amps dual usb ports auxiliary input output tf card mp3 player so that's uh not the cheapest device it's about 27 dollars but it's definitely one of the very best devices overall regarding such functionality so of course you can have similar things with for about 15 or 20 dollars but uh, it will have definitely not same functionality so this is more or less the gold standard for these um, devices so you see it's very flexible it's actually two parts some of these are more or less one part this is one uh, two parts with uh, connected with a flexible uh, hose and yeah it has this nice knob and all the buttons on the nice display and yeah I've seen a lot of different devices and this is really the best looking uh, device and it has listed the best overall features so the question is will it all will it also work like this so we make the unboxing first and then we will go to the car right away and check if it is really working as promised here we have the box with all the features and specifications if you want to see it again but it's already on amazon if you want to buy it you find the link in the description you can just click on it and then order it right away so I've never opened this one I don't have to cut so that's good and here we have the device it comes with an looks like an auxiliary cable uh, fuse extra fuse which is always good and a little bit of description that's not so much if you need that you can pause the video hope you can see everything maybe if you lost the instructions it has a little bit a hard time to focus I'm trying to hold it a little bit further away hope you can see now everything doesn't take too much time for that so I'm zooming out a little bit so you can hopefully see everything if you need this thing as a reference maybe you lost this instruction and you need to access specific functionality so again here we have the extra fuse here we have the auxiliary cable and here I'm zooming out a bit that you can see everything okay so here it is looks really really good so here it has this nice knob probably hear the mic to make phone calls I don't know if you can make phone calls with this device I guess you can so before yeah I haven't seen uh, regarding um, phone calls but I'm pretty sure it will be able to do that so before we head to the car uh, before we head to the car or of course we have to insert the SD card if you want to hear sound from the SD card so the pins have to face to the front hope you can see that so like this use your fingernail and click it in you see 
that's the position when it's in and you can easily take it out again so no problem so far that's working pretty good and the other thing is um, I would like to connect but I have no power yeah we have to do that in the car of course so yeah that's it regarding the unboxing now we are heading to the car and uh, let's see how this works so we are now in the car and we have this configuration we have the radio up there we turn it a little bit lower and yeah here we have the 12 volt adapter <clears throat> that's really bad actually because it's very low and it's difficult to uh, insert such a device I had uh, another test where it was a little bit difficult to um, yeah uh, like <laughs> like to push this thing into that plug and have enough space it was working but it was a little bit uh, cumbersome so let's try with this device so it's a little bit difficult I am not having too much light unfortunately and I'm having to hold my camera so I just have one hand uh, free so it will be much easier for you uh, to do the same of course so I'm just trying to insert this okay looks it worked so that's pretty cool and it looks fantastic so unfortunately it's difficult to see that it's a really nice blue so that looks really awesome nice display nice everything I haven't seen such a beautiful FM transmitter till now so it has a lot of functionality definitely and yeah I'm just trying without the um, instructions a little bit so I'm trying now with the auxiliary uh, now no of course I would have I have to use change channel let's see wow that works right away no instructions needed no nothing I have already put the my radio on 106.1 as you can see oh that's not good so I have to find a new channel because there's some yeah there's some uh, other uh, channel already there so hold on okay I started again pretty low this time 89.3 so we go down and try to find 89.3 and here it is already and it's already playing the sound from my SD card so isn't that awesome almost nothing to do if you just wanna play the sound from the SD card just match the frequency on your radio and on this device and it will play so but of course we want to have more so we want to connect this device with our phone to play the sound from our phone if we want to use um, like uh, Spotify or yeah from mp3s which I have on my phone okay I started my phone and the Bluetooth and uh, I started a scan on the right top you see scan and it immediately found this Bluetooth Bluetooth 70 I guess that's the thing which we are having here let's see if we need a code it says pairing okay connected for call and media audio so it looks like we are definitely uh, able to make phone calls so what we are trying now we are going to YouTube and I have already yeah of course we have to find something which is no copyright music let's try this if it works right away but maybe yeah I think it has started
Hold on a second. No. It's still the uh, SD card playing, so I have to do. I have to look it up. What I have to do. No. No, there was nothing. So you can see, I was just not not pressing uh, enough here on the YouTube channel. So when you uh, have it like this, so it goes automatically back to the SD card, which is great. It's now playing again from the SD card. If I start here from YouTube, it starts. It switches right away to you see Bluetooth. Oh, I'm having problem here. Oh, there's some ad. I want to switch. I have to skip the ad. Hopefully it will work. Hold on a second. Okay, now found something. So I really didn't have to do anything. It just switched automatically to the Bluetooth of my phone. Uh, the important thing is you have to uh, turn up the volume to maximum sound maximum sound level on your phone then I've all also uh, turned the, uh, the volume to the maximum here which is 31 and then you have a decent sound here hope you can hear that so that's absolutely clear fantastic sound no uh, interference absolutely nothing so it was really amazing we can yeah oh here we have the button you see that so here we have the functionality for the phone so usually double click will make will um, invoke last number and all those things so yeah pretty cool i'm checking just a little bit the instructions to see if we can find anything very important let's check what's happening when i do this here can i control at least uh when you're using sd card of course you will be able to use these buttons with youtube probably doesn't work it's uh, highlighting the screen you see that but it doesn't move if I would use like a mp3 player probably I would be able to switch uh, music here with these buttons so now I have even switched to auxiliary uh, input the cable which was in the package you can find it here and that's really cool so I've tri already tried it I unplugged it and it kept more or less playing with Bluetooth the Bluetooth is a little bit louder than the auxiliary uh, I don't know why this is it's small difference but you can hear it's a difference so I'm at the wrong place yeah, it's a little bit hard to <laughs> push it in with one hand but anyway you have been able to see the or hear the difference it's, it's a small difference but I like the Bluetooth even a little bit more so if you have a mobile phone I would definitely recommend using the Bluetooth instead of the auxiliary what do we have here we don't need the and yeah so I would definitely recommend using the Bluetooth connection instead of the auxiliary if you have just an mp3 player then of course um, uh, you have to use auxiliary but it's pretty cool everything so it almost everything automatically really intuitive just it does what you want to do so I didn't really have to read the instruction just unboxed it uh, and uh, plugged it in and connected it and everything was uh, working without any problem so I definitely can confirm this is the gold standard not only regarding functionality 
also like regarding uh, quality, convenience, stability, sound, everything. So if you wanna, uh, yeah, if you wanna have a premium device, that's the thing to go. That's the thing to buy. The BT70 Car Bluetooth FM transmitter. Really, really good thing. Or full recommendation from my side. So I hope I was able to help you a little bit with that. If you have any comments or questions, like always, write to the comment section below. And if you like the video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.